Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back uh, with a good one today. Uh, a fight that a lot of people seem to be intrigued uh, by, Christian and Billy taking on Mark Heffron. We're going to get into this. I'm not the biggest and Billy fan. We'll, we'll get into why. But please, uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, losing my brain today. Losing my brain today. Subscribe to the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. The Patreon gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks. It gets you ask the bookie anything. A ton of perks. Gets you uh, a ton of perks. Just five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also below. Also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, let's get into today's show. Christian and Billy is a guy that's come up on the. Uh, Losing my brain here. Uh, the Eye of the Tiger series that in America, at least we get it on uh, ESPN Plus. He's 26 and 0, 22 knockouts. He opened up some eyes in the Rohan Murdoch fight and the uh, Demont Nicholson fight. He's also got a win over uh, Carlos Gagora, Von Alexander, DeAndre Ware. He's gone through that level of opposition. He's fighting Mark Heffron, who I, I also believe is that level of competition. So he should go through Mark Heffron as well. He's a fun guy. He's a pressure guy. He comes forward. He's athletic. He's powerful and strong as hell. Seek and destroy type of guy. And he's opened up a lot of eyes, and people think he's the next killer. I don't really see it that way. He throws everything hard, but he's wild. He seems out of control and super wild at times. I He's not composed. He doesn't really use his jab enough, but he really commits, and I feel overcommits to a lot of his shots. He, there is intention on everything he throws. He's got no jab. He, he actually has a jab. He just doesn't use it. He's easy to hit on the inside. His head is on a line. He does not move his head. So when he gets an exchanges on the inside, he gets tagged, but he – it, he's a wrecking ball. He's an absolute wrecking ball. So there's not much you can do with him because he's going to hit you. And he is skilled. He does have clean shots on the inside. They're just a little long, but he's fast enough and athletic enough. And he's so powerful. The guy is beautiful is what I'm saying, but he's not really going to lose at this level. Beautiful uppercuts on the inside, by the way. No lateral movement. It's straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. He's got a lot of work to do. He rips body shots. Good. Like there's a lot of things he does well. He rips body shots. But he also comes in face first, right? So for everything, there's a pro and a con. He comes in face first a lot. And he's got a good chin so far of what he's seen. But he eats way too many shots. He's strong as hell. He's a bull. He doesn't mind taking shots. But he's not hard to hit, right? It's not hard to find him. He's in front of you. He comes in face first, and he sits and trades and exchanges in a phone booth. You get, you get what he is, and he's got a ton of value. He's got good power, good volume, good gas tank so far. All, all, all that checks. There's a lot that he does that makes you think he's a world champion. There's a lot that he does that makes you think he's going to get knocked out in his next fight. He's not going to get knocked out by Heffron. He's simply a brute force. He's a wrecking ball. He's, he's a blunt object. He does one thing, which is come forward and throw hard. Straight, on a line. You either love him or you think he's extremely flawed. I think he's extremely flawed, but I, I know the sport, and I, I understand that Mark Heffron is tailor-made for him. He's also an, an, an aggressive guy who likes to come forward. He likes to open up. He's short. He's Sharp, short, sharp from the outside. He throws nice punches, and he wants to walk you down, walk you down. He's not going to be able to walk and Billy down. So they're going to sit and trade, and Heffron's willing to do that. Heffron has balls. He's been knocked out. He's got, I think, decent power, although his knockout ratio is not great. He gets hit a lot, and he's willing to exchange on the inside. He's got a really nice lead left hook, too. Like, that's what I think is his best shot. His lead left hook is, is pretty good. 
He's not very quick. He's kind of slow. He doesn't have the quickest hands. He doesn't have the quickest feet. He doesn't really work his angles. He's not a bad fighter. He's got basic skills. He's aggressive. He's he's sharp. He's, he's pretty accurate with, with a lot of his shots. He stands in front of you, and that's not going to fly with him, Billy. This is not a fight that's really tailor-made for Heffron. I love the under in this fight because like, I, I think Heffron can hit. Heffron is the aggressor. Uh, Billy is the aggressor. Uh, Heffron is an, aggress an aggressor himself. And he's going to come forward, and, and this is going to be a combustion. I think they meet up in the center of the ring. It, it, it's like you know a basketball, a shot blocker, and a dunker. It's like, I'll meet you at the rim. Like Something's about to go down here. That's what we're going to get here. Someone's getting knocked out here. I, I think it's in Billy. I mean, I think it's Efron. Efron's not a terrible fighter. He's, he's a fun fighter. But this is stylistically not a good fight for him because he is aggressive. He does get hit a lot. He does stand in front of you, and you don't want to stand in front of this guy. Now, I'm going to pull up the odds on this, and you're going to say, why are you doing this fight? It's minus 3,000. I understand that it's minus 3,000, and we're going to wait on this. Like, we're going to make this bet. We're going to put a bet on a Billy. But you're seeing a $200 bet makes us $6. I think this is why I don't love this bet, but Billy's going to win. What we're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to join the Patreon. Link is in the description, $5 a month. We're going to take a couple of things on this. We're going to take for this fight to end in a stoppage, and we're going to take Billy by stoppage. And we're, we're going to bet this thing on the under because this thing is going to be dynamite exploding. This is going to be a fun fight. And Billy's going to stop him. But right now, DraftKings is doing me no favors. DraftKings is not hooking it up. But we like Billy. To win this fight by stoppage. We like the fight to go the under. And we're going to get to all that. But the only way that we can get to that is for you guys to join the Patreon. We'll discuss it in the Patreon once those odds drop. Those odds will likely drop. Probably Thursday is my guess. It's Tuesday morning right now. So that will probably drop Thursday. Join the Patreon. It's $5 a month. We'll show you how to make money on this one. We'll show you how to make money on the next one. You get the lock. You get Ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap breakdown, any fight. You get all of that. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. But we're going to take Billy on the money line, minus 3,000. And then we're going to take Billy to win by stoppage. And we're going to take the prop for this fight to, to end within the, within the distance and by stoppage. Uh, we're going to look at those odds when they come out. We're going to make the best bet. But you got to join the Patreon for about $5 a month. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. There's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, it is, what is it, May 21st, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.